he's not happy. Daddy will be back, okay? <laughs> why are you upset? Can you tell me why you're upset? Because Daddy left you? Hi, Bronx. Hi. It's like, what's going on? You're gonna go on a walk with Daddy, okay? You're gonna take him on a walk, right? I am going to go and pick up some lunch real quick. Oh, my hair's a mess. Um, I want to go to Yeye's to pick up some panmis, but time-wise, it's not gonna work out because it's 12 right now, and the plan was to go to Seattle to grab some coffee from this one place and then grab some pizza, but it's just, it's not gonna happen, and that's okay. So I'm just gonna go to Jack in the Box and pick up, um, a couple of things for lunch and then come back here in the meantime edwin's gonna walk bronx bye bye Bronxy. mommy will be right back okay you go on a walk with daddy just a little something to hold us over buttery jack spicy popcorn chickens who's ready to go to seattle who's ready are you ready you ready <laughs> are you ready to go to seattle pound it pound it if you want to go with mommy and daddy Yes, I know. I am going to grab a jacket right now before we head out because I always seem to get cold. So, which one should I wear? Um, okay, I might take like a little poofier jacket today. Um, but we're going to head down to the Seattle area. I think it's past, hold on. Oh, my closet door is open. Um, babe, where is Columbia City anyways? Um, Past Seattle? Yeah, a little bit. This one coffee shop called Coffee Holics Dream or something like that. I've been wanting to go there for some time because I see people, you know, around me going there. Um, and I see it on like their IG story. So I've been wanting to go. So finally we get to go today. I see this guy been making more modifications to his car, huh? Huh? What's this new one? It's the old one. Oh, I it's just the put old it one? in because it's weighted. Well, from where? From back in the day. It's actually a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. Because for some reason, I don't know, I get cold easily. So I guess it's a good thing that I brought this jacket, but I feel like it might be a little bit too warm for this. We'll see. I hear Bronx. There he is. Bronxy, lay on your bed, okay? Stay there. Good boy. Good boy. Bronxy just took a massive poo poo. You feel good? Hey, he feels good. This is my drink. Finally, I get to try the coffee holic. I got the dream. What is it? The dream house? No. I have to look it up. It is so hard to walk with a coffee in your hand and then take care of a dog, even though Edwin's holding him, but it's pretty good. It's got this like nutty flavor and it's a little bit different from like regular Vietnamese coffee. I don't know how to describe it but we would definitely come back again we stopped by mud bay um and they had trader joe's next door so i was gonna stop by trader joe's but there was a whole line and i wasn't gonna wait in line so we just went to mud bay picked up a few treats for our bronx and we're home now i'm probably gonna run to the grocery store in a little bit i know i probably shouldn't go on a saturday but uh, maybe i'll go another day i don't know we'll see um but came back home just to unwind a little bit there's nothing to do really Bunksy, mommy give you a treat mommy give you a treat you want a treat i think it's a bag open uh oh okay there we go you want a treat Bronx? yes i know you want a treat yes okay wait 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 Okay, Bronxy. Stay. Wait. Good boy. You want a treat? 
Pound it. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Uh oh, oh my gosh, take your time. You eat too fast, just like dad. Chew it, okay? Oh my gosh. Did you even chew it? Good boy. Good boy. Why are you looking? <laughs> what? You want another one? You want another one? Don't give me that look. Bronx, you want some scratches? Hey, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> you want scratches? Okay, I'll give you scratches. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. You like it? You like it? You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Mm. You like your scratches? Yeah, you like your scratches. Yeah. It's just me and Bronx right now. He is right behind me. <laughs> there you are. He is uh, super attached to Edwin and I know he's going to start throwing a hissy fit because he's going to be, he's upset that he's uh, home and Edwin's not. See, you see that? <laughs> Yes. What you need? What you need? He's not happy. Yes, Bronx. I go. <laughs> what happened to that jowl of yours? I know you're not happy because that mouthpiece right here. Can we can we let that one hang down? Come on. When he's upset, his jowls. Yes. What do you need? Uh, go up into his mouth. You can see right here. You want to say hi to everybody? On this side, his jowl is up. Usually, you'll see them both up, but he's not happy. Daddy will be back. Okay. <laughs> why are you upset? Can you tell me why you're upset? Because Daddy left you. Okay. He'll be back in about 30 minutes, I think. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay, thank you. Oh, he's mad. Don't be upset. He'll be back in a little bit, okay? I promise you. Can we not be mad? Can we not be mad? Gonna take Bronx on a quick walk. I'm gonna prep some poop bags in case he poops, which I don't think he will because he he took a pretty big dump this morning. So we buy baby wipes in bulk, um, and they last us a pretty long time too. So it's just something I um, I've been used to doing since he was a pup, probably about two three months, and it's just been like ever since then we've been. Wiping his butt with baby wipes. Just got back from our walk. And it was perfect timing because I uh, I heard Edwin's car come in. Tonight's dinner is pizza from Tutabella. Ooh, this is a margarita pizza. I'm so excited to eat that. This one is a Tutabella pizza. Makeshift toy, put a little treat in there. He just opened it. You see something in there, Bronx? <laughs> oh, you got the treat out. You got it out. Let's see, there's nothing in here. Put this one treat right here in here. Are you ready? Hey, hey, you ready? 
You think you're ready? Yes. You ready for this? Go get it. There he goes. Come on, Bronx. Yeah, come on. Get that treat. Get that treat of yours. You ate like five of those sticks. Working very hard for his treat. You gotta work for everything up in here. That's right. You want a little piece of a treat? You gotta work for it. It's still in there, Bronx. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Wow, that lasted like not even a minute. Uh oh. Someone has to go pee pee? Hey, there's no more in there, Bronx. There's no more in there. There's no more. <laughs> there he goes. He hears Edwin opening up the bag of treats. There's nothing in there, Bronx. You smell it, but there's nothing. Yeah. No imaginary that treat. That is the best, huh? <gasps> really? That is the best. A whole treat? Oh my gosh. That will last him like two seconds. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's probably about your sixth stick. Right? That thing is hella expensive. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Looking if there's more. Hoping that there's more. He is so spoiled. We were actually supposed to be in Jersey around this time for one of my friend's weddings. I think we were planning on this week to go to Turks and Caicos. I'm kind of sad though. The first two years after getting married, I wanted to travel before we like actually settled down. And we were also planning on going on our honeymoon, uh, like our actual honeymoon in August. And we wanted to go to... Um, Kosamoy, and that's not happening either, I don't think. So, I don't know, who knows? Maybe this will clear up, but I doubt it. That's just like wishful thinking, me saying it out loud. But this whole COVID stuff is, yeah, definitely ruining our 2020 plans. This guy is going ham on his freeze dried bully sticks. Oh, yeah. He's trying to bite off that piece right there. Get it, Bronx. Get it, Bronx. While the boys are playing together, I'm gonna fold some laundry. Um, are these old socks or new socks? Dare I sniff this? I can't tell. Edwin does not separate his socks when he puts it in the wash. So, and I don't like separate them because we just place our clothes. We don't even use a hamper. We place our clothes in the um, washer. So whatever's in there will be washed. Um, yeah, we don't own very many like white clothing. So it's not a big deal for us. One time I did shrink Edwin's cashmere sweater. <laughs> I, I think I put it in the dryer and he pulled it out or something. And it was even, too, it was too small for me it to even fit me i bet he can hear me and he's laugh he's probably laughing in his uh on the inside um but yeah he pulled it out and it was it was hella tiny um even i can't fit into it Edwin is out taking Bronx on a last pee pee walk, but you guys, every single time I fold his laundry, something goes cuckoo. I don't know what it is. Today, I'm putting, I'm folding his, or not folding, I'm hanging his clothes, about to hang it up, and then I hear some dangling, like metal clanking. What do I see? This is exactly what I see. What the hell happened to this? And where is the thing? That's my question. Where's the uh, the where's the actual like the body of the hanger? It's what the what the heck? Am I going blind or something? I don't see it unless it's hanging up here somewhere, attached to something else. I don't know where the hell is it. And then you know what else I see? I see another one just hanging. What happened to this dude? 
Hmm, a sweater with a missing arm. Why? Why? <laughs> Someone please help me. Missing arm. Okay. What the hell's going on with this one? Who the hell hangs up their sweater like this? Oh my gosh. Look, who does this? All right, these metal things right here, these are definitely going in the trash. What happened to your nose or your mouth right there? Why is it red right there? Did you scratch it on something? Okay, guys, I'm going to end my night here and we'll see you next time. Bye.